It's part of the human condition to imagine what the future might look like. Years ago, science fiction writers like Arthur C. Clarke dreamed and future-gazed, mapping out exactly what 2020 might be like. The big difference when he grows up, in fact, when he wanted to wait for the year 2001, is that he will have in his own house, not a computer as big as this, but at least a console to which he can talk to his friendly local computer and get all the information you need in the course of living in a complex modern society. This will be in a compact form in his own house. Our lives have changed so dramatically in the first 20 years of this millennium. But what will our domestic life in 2030 look like? What smart devices will be at the heart of our homes? And with assistive tech supporting us in our daily tasks, will there come a time when we never need to leave the house? We hear of things like the Internet of Things informing the stocking of our fridges and freezers, but this is hiding the real story of how we'll adopt such smart technologies. We've already invited extraordinary machine learning devices into our homes. 22% of UK households have one or more smart speakers, while the number of IoT-connected devices worldwide is projected to almost triple to 30.9 billion units by 2025. Yes, most of us only use an Alexa or Google Nest to listen to music, the radio, or play silly jokes with. But behind the scenes, big tech aims to make these products central to how our homes run. So the companies behind smart speakers, or they're called now digital assistants, are actually trying to transform them. So they're not digital assistants anymore, but more sort of household managers or household brains that actually can control a whole network of other devices inside your home. The likes of Apple and Amazon are trying to integrate their smart devices so they work with kind of automatic hoovers that will basically work on their own. They'll map out the inside of your home. Now, whoever is in charge of household chores is going to be totally liberated from having to do that because they won't have to spend hours hoovering. They'll just be able to get an automatic vacuum to do it instead. That will mean a big change for a lot of people. NVIDIA are basically working on developing this sort of quite large giant robot arm that will live in your kitchen. It can help you open drawers, it can put things away, so it will map out where everything lives in your kitchen and the idea will probably be that it can tidy up after you or it can even do the cooking and then tidy up. That would mean you probably wouldn't even have to be in your kitchen, it might just serve food out of a kind of porthole that you never have to even enter and obviously that would transform everybody's houses. In the future, this sensor-led technology will likely be built right into the structures of our homes. Smart modular housing developments are starting to emerge as the viable, planet-friendly option for home buyers and construction firms alike. So I guess the real advantage with smart homes is they'll be able to monitor everything. So they'll be able to monitor how much energy you're using, how much water you're using, and that sort of ability to essentially put sensors around your kind of everyday tasks. That will mean you'll be able to see where am I wasting energy and water, and then you'll be able to take steps to combat that. I mean, that could have a big impact on Britain trying to meet its net zero targets. But this is just the beginning. Smart technology is beginning to reshape the way in which entire cities are inhabited. Around the world, cities are deploying sensors to track footfall, litter and air pollution. While we're seeing smart homes kind of making leaps and bounds at the moment, I think somewhere where it's actually kind of a bit more advanced is also smart cities. Councils have really noticed the potential here. Smart homes and smart cities are going to be integrated into the future and, and that's going to make big changes. In Sunderland, bins fitted with sensors can tell the council when they're full. And in China, sensors combined with facial recognition can detect individuals who are jaywalking and display their faces on screens to shame them. And intelligent tech is beginning to shape the way we may shop IRL in the future. In early 2021, Amazon opened its first high street supermarket in West London. Based on its successful rollout in the US, this shop uses advanced sensor technology to track the contents of your actual in-store shopping basket in real time, updating your account spending as you shop and billing you once you've left the store. I think definitely Amazon wants it to be a high street revolution and one of the reasons that they're creating this supermarket and they've also just opened a new hair salon in London, this is not just so Amazon can use the technology, but it's so it can sell it to other people. 
I'm sure in the very near distance we'll see kind of those big supermarket chains also experimenting or integrating it into their own stores. In the 21st century, data is the most valuable resource in the world, more so even than oil. And when used alongside smart technology and machine learning, this data will be key in the reimagining of how we live both inside and outside of the home in 2030.